Hello everyone, in this video we are going to cover how to cross compile an Unreal Engine project for Linux from Windows. The only requirement for cross compilation in Unreal Engine is downloading the Clang toolchain associated with your engine version from the Unreal Engine documentation. Links to everything you see in this video will be in the description below. Now in this video, I'm using Unreal Engine version 5.0, so I'm going to get the V19 toolchain because at the time of filming, Unreal Engine version 5.0 corresponds with 4.27 and UE5 Early Access corresponds with 4.26. As more and more production ready releases of Unreal Engine come out, the documentation will be updated with those new versions and their appropriate toolchains. With that said, let's run the installer for the toolchain, should be pretty straightforward, and wait for the installation to complete. Once that's done, not only is the toolchain installed, but also an environment variable called Linux MultiArc root should have been set. To make sure that the variable got set, we can run this command at the bottom of this documentation page in command prompt. And if for whatever reason it's not there, you can always grab the command from the description. Running the command should return information about the Clang toolchain you just installed. If it doesn't, then double check that the Linux multi-arc root environment variable actually got set to the location of your toolchain. Because Unreal Engine uses the Clang toolchain found in this directory path, during cross compilation. And note that changes to environment variables may not be reflected until you restart your command line interpreter or your computer. Next, if you're using a version of Unreal Engine that was downloaded from the Epic Games launcher, then make sure that in your Unreal Engine installation options that the Linux target platform was selected. If not, then check this option and then click apply. On the other hand, if you're using a version of Unreal Engine that was downloaded from source, make sure that you did not exclude Linux dependencies when you ran setup.bat. In other words, if you pass this exclude equal Linux flag to setup.bat when you first ran it, then you'll have to rerun setup.bat without that flag, regenerate the engine's project files, and even rebuild the engine. Just to clarify, you do not have to do any of that if you originally ran setup.bat normally like I did without the exclude flag. So you can most likely ignore what I just said about setup.bat, but it's worth mentioning since it's still a possibility. Moving on, let's build an Unreal Engine project for the Linux platform. If we open up any project in the editor and navigate to platforms, you'll notice that we can now build for the Linux x86-64 platform as well as the Linux ARM64 platform. And for those who want to cross compile any existing C++ projects in Visual Studio, you may not see the Linux and Linux ARM64 options in the Solution Platforms drop-down menu until you regenerate your project's Visual Studio project files like so. Going back to the editor, let's package our project for Linux to make sure that we are able to build successfully as well as run our project in a Linux environment with no problems. If the packaging went smoothly with no errors, then let's proceed with testing this package build by running it on the Windows subsystem for Linux, aka WSL. If you've never used a Windows subsystem for Linux before, then go to command prompt and run WSL dash dash install dash D and then the name of the Linux distribution that you want to mimic. For all the available distros that you can choose from, you can run the WSL dash L dash O command like the above. It shouldn't matter which one you decide on, so just copy and paste the distribution that you're interested in. In my case, it's Ubuntu, and this should install everything that's needed to run an Ubuntu terminal on WSL. After a few minutes, Ubuntu will actually start up and prompt you to enter credentials for a new account. So if you already had a Linux distro on WSL installed, then go ahead and launch that terminal application. Now let's get the path of where the Linux package build is located from File Explorer and convert it to a Unix formatted path so that we can CD into this directory. From here, let's run the shell script that's named after our project, but we're not going to run it like we normally do, so we're going to pass a null RHI flag to run the game as a headless program, meaning we will not see any graphics or hear any audio. For visuals and sound, you'll have to do more work outside of this video. Regardless, it seems that our game process is running in the background, as we can see by the logs, 
the map was loaded and the engine was initialized. And when you're done, you can quit your game by pressing Ctrl C. But if your game failed to run on WSL or on another machine, then double check that your Linux distro's environment has all the dependencies and prerequisites needed to run your game. This may require you to conduct further research on your own time. But that is it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, then please like, comment, subscribe, and become a member of the channel or Patreon. Follow us on social media, join our Discord server, and special thanks to our higher tier patrons and Logical Cuber, Sherwood2142, Michael Camiso, Graham Devine, James Rabot, and Dwight Everhart, Mark Wedge, Morgan Heineman, Viablaze Payne, Lucas Moskin, and Rick Morgan. To everyone though, thank you for watching and have a nice day.